Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Testing Cell Call with the CMA180. In this presentation, we'll explain how to both generate and analyze cell call signals using a Rodin Schwartz CMA180 radio test set. If you're not already familiar with cell call, you might want to watch the presentation Understanding Cell Call before proceeding with this presentation. On the CMA180, there are two modes of testing cell call. The CMA180 can generate cell call codes, or tones, and it can also analyze cell call codes or tones. In this presentation, a simple RF loopback will be used to demonstrate both cell call generation and analysis using the CMA180. We'll prepare our CMA180 by first using the green preset button and a global preset to return the CMA180 to its default state. We'll then create an RF loopback by connecting RFCOM to RFIN on the front of the CMA180. Since the CMA180 will be transmitting and receiving signals simultaneously, we'll select the DX test mode from the analog scenario menu. We'll start by configuring the generator. In this example, we'll be generating cell call codes for a VHF radio link, so the first thing to do is to configure an appropriate frequency and level. Since we're at VHF, we'll choose AM for mode and configure a modulation depth if needed. 40 or 50% is usually a good number. If we were using HF, we would want to set our mode to upper sideband. Next, we'll leave the default 1000 Hz tone as our audio signal, but change mode to cell call. We can change our cell call settings using the small gear icon next to mode. After configuration is complete, we'll press play to start the generator. The most important cell call setting in the dialing configuration is a cell call code sequence. Remember that the two tones in each cell call pair must be given in alphabetical order. Also, if you're using a keyboard to enter the tones, these must be entered as capital letters. The default timing for cell call tones is one second per pair, with a 0.2 second pause between them, but these are also configurable. Finally, there's also a repeat count and pause time between repetitions if you want the cell call code to repeat. In the Analyzer tab, we enter the Analyzer configuration and make three changes under RF settings. In this example, we created an RF loopback by connecting RFCOM to RFIN, so we need to change connector in to RFIN. Next, we enable RF coupling, so our Analyzer settings for frequency, power level, etc. match those configured on the generator. We also need to set the demodulation type to AM, since we've configured our generator mode as AM. And finally, we need to turn on the analysis using the play button. Since our RF signal is being modulated with a 1000 Hz tone, we should see something like this after enabling analysis. A 1000 Hz tone should also be audible if audio is unmuted and volume is set appropriately. Back in the generator tab, we press dial to send the two tone cell call sequence. If audio output is enabled, you should hear the 1000 Hz tone interrupted by the cell call tones. In addition to listening to the tones, we can also analyze the received cell call tones. This is done by choosing dialing in the analyzer application. We need to be sure that frequency, expected power, and mode, or modulation type, match the settings on the generator. An easy way to do this is to use the find RF function to set these parameters automatically. We then start the analysis and use Dial in the Generator tab to send the cell call tones. The CMA180 receives the digits and then decodes and displays them, along with numerical measurements of the frequency and timing of the tones. So in summary, cell call is a type of selective calling used in aviation, and cell call alerts called aircraft using a pair of dual frequency tones. These tones are indicated as pairs of letters, with each letter corresponding to an audible tone. Tones are transmitted using the same frequency and modulation type as the communications channel, with AM being used on VHF and upper sideband used on HF. On the CME 180, tones are sent and analyzed using the dialing functions. Tones are set using dial on the generator side and are analyzed using dialing on the analyzer side. The CMA180 cell call analysis displays the decoded tone pairs, as well as their frequencies, 
deviations, and timings. This concludes our presentation, Testing Cell Call with a CMA 180. Thanks for watching.